A one, two, three. Hey, 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 welcome, y'all. Welcome to another episode of The Zolian Podcast, where we talk about fantasy, family, and freedom. And today, today we're going to focus on an old old topic that kind of started this whole show, really, <laughs> which is which is the decline, the further decline and fall and crash and destruction of Star Wars, okay? Uh, that's pretty much where I started my journey of like, all right, let's do a podcast um, about this stuff. Let me just talk about, you know, uh, creating my own thing, doing my own thing, go on my own path, you know, this whole shadow pill, the whole shadow path, you know, the whole concept of doing your own thing, going your own way. Um, not, you know, uh, <laughs> not... Not uh, following this crap anymore. <laughs> like following it into a well, like having the faith, oh, oh yeah, it'll work out, it'll work out. Nah, uh, we're done with that. Uh, we, that's long since passed. My love uh, for Star Wars has long since passed. But um, now I get the popcorn because this has been quite the dilemma. Uh, y'all watched, a lot of y'all watched uh, The Mandalorian and loved it. And I feel bad for you because... The first season apparently was pretty good, and they pulled the rug on you on the se- on season two, and now season three is, I mean, it's just, I mean, this thing is just, it's a disaster. I don't even know how people can process this and just, uh, I don't know how people are supposed to watch the rest of the se- series. <laughs> it's just uh, unfortunate. All right, let's get into it. Uh, the Mandalorian episode featuring Lizzo and, Bla- and Jack Black is considered the worst rated episode of the entire series i have not heard anyone say any good things about this episode um i saw a few clips i cannot show you the clips unfortunately i tried to do a recording where i did the clip and i you know i i I showed the clip uh and youtube basically said nah so i said you know what let's just re-record this and start over so that's unfortunate i'm sorry about that guys youtube is being finicky these days with, with the clips. I, I don't even know what the whole point is if you can't do fair use. What's the point of fair use existing if you can't use it? Um, so the latest season of The Mandalorian is not only uh, seeing viewers tune out of the show en masse, but viewers do, do, who do happen to continue to slog through each episode are giving this series some of the worst ratings yet. And the most recent episode featuring Lizzo and Jack Black uh, currently holding the crown for the worst reviewed episode. I this that this is not good. The Mandalorian Chapter Twenty Two Guns for Hire uh, currently has a mediocre six point eight audience score on IMDb. Not only is this score the worst of the season, it is the worst rating of, for the entire series. Let me tell you something. I'll tell you what I saw. Okay, what I saw was a couple of things. One, uh, when they said Lizzo was gonna be on the show, I thought they I thought they had created a new Jabba the Hut or something. I was like, oh, okay, cool. Let's see what happens. <laughs> that was not what happened. Also, I saw that they were filming. It looks like a college, uh, you know, uh, you know, a college yard, like, you know, a um, field, you know, like a, or a football field or something. It didn't look like you were in, in space, like you were in some, you know, fancy planet. Um, you know, I, I'm sorry. I hate to say it, but... Y'all messed up by not having Lucas uh, be a part of the creative process. That was a mistake. That was absolutely a mistake. I remember people telling me, oh, yeah, George Lucas getting out was good for the actual uh, content because now real creative stuff can be done. And I sat there and I said, are you sure? Are you sure? It sounds like Lucas is the guy who says no to bad ideas. But, you know, maybe we'll find out. Time will tell, you know, and how many years ago was that? Um, you know, almost 10 years ago. Now, look, now, now it's proven, you know? Um, I, I don't, I don't know, man. I, I just feel like, uh, when you, with the clip that I saw, the clip, which was there at the, I think, I think the, the, uh, Yoda character creature, you know, not Yoda, but you know what I mean? Uh, the, what was his name? Oh man. I, I completely wiped this entire show from my memory. Like, I saw a couple of episodes, and I was like, yeah, this isn't for me. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I saw a couple of episodes. I gave it I gave it the good try. You know, I, I, gave a, I, I watched a couple in the beginning. I watched a couple in the middle. 
I watched a couple at the end of the season, and I was like, yeah, this is not for me. Um, I like to give kind of an overview, you know, read. Maybe I'll maybe I'll do like a reaction to it. I don't know. Uh, let me know if you're interested in that uh, because uh, I do like to get the popcorn out and roast things. Um, but this is unfortunate. Seeing how things started, you know, like all the options you could do, all the stories that you could tell. I mean, the Timothy Zahn series is already pre-written. You, you just have to just follow that if you really want to like have a a you know a satisfied audience without having to do much work as far as like the creative process just film that that's all you had to do you have the money you're disney you could have just filmed the timothy zahn series and you'd have been set you pay the man obviously you give him his royalties but you you know who cares you're all set to go and yeah the audience knows how it ends but who cares you know you already have a story that people liked you know the extended universe is well loved. I hate to say, I hate to say it, but people love it. You know what are you gonna do? You know just follow what's already there. You know if you don't if you can't perform, and let's be honest, they they clearly can't perform. I mean this stuff is just a joke. I mean <laughs> by the way, Jack Black does not look so good these days. Jeez, I mean I, yeah that's how age works, but man, when he ages, he really ages. Um, my point of this is, you know, watching where it began. And where it ended is just, I don't know, man. I I, I, had, I hate to say this, but sad to watch. You know what I mean? The degradation. It's like watching a corpse being put out there and trotted along, you know? And uh, I think sci-fi itself is just one of those genres where you have no excuses. You could tell so many amazing stories. I mean, you just, the, the sky is the limit. I mean, really, you just need people who actually are creative. And it seems to me that they're hiring only yes men and also people who have an agenda as well. It doesn't seem like Disney's hiring people who actually have talent. I hate to say that, but that's just how it, how it feels to me. Because um, it would be evident in the work. The work would show, yeah, there's some talent here. But lately, I have not seen anything that they put out there that is even remotely acknowledging. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for me. Let me know what you think. Maybe I'm wrong. Tell me in the comments section. Have a great day. God bless.